Hi, let's find out the real performance using the scanner of the 3M Scotch Brite pad, the TAN version, when used by spinner. Coming up. As you may know, I have uh, checked all 3M pads used by hand and uh, with the help of a scanner we determined what they actually do to the volleyball. However, then somebody asked if I can do this with the spinner as well, so I did it. But there was one pad missing from that uh, series and it's this one. The code is 4... no, the code is 7440. So you can look it up with that code. And it's a very, very hard, very coarse pad. You can feel it scratching your your skin hard. So this is going to put some lines on the ball. It is supposed to be a 120 grit, but as you saw, if you saw my other videos with the 3M Scotch Brite pads, they do not leave the theoretical grit on the bowling balls because they are not designed for bowling balls. And if you're interested to see what those pads actually do, you can uh, check my other videos uh, or the links in the description. I have a playlist with all the 3M Scotch Brite pad videos. When we're using any kind of pad, the pressure used uh, does play a, a role in the result that we're going to get. And that's why when I did it by hand, I tried it with both a lighter pressure and a, a lower pressure and a higher pressure. But with the spinner I'm just going to try an average pressure because the spinner speeds up the, the whole resurfacing act so we don't, we don't want to put too much pressure on it. I'm going to use it of course on a shiny ball, this is around 5000, it's my old uh, Columbia Messenger. And um, we're going to scan it first on uh, two perpendicular uh, planes so you can uh, all see that it's actually 5000 and as with the other tests I'm going to you apply the pad for 15 seconds per side and do four sides of the ball so one minute for the whole ball okay let's do it Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it's 4920. And again, 4,980. Now it's a 5,000 volt. Our pod. And if, as you can see, there are a lot of gaps inside. These things don't clog much, but uh, still I will spray some water. Alright, 15 seconds, 
Father is Christian. degrees to the side. You can see it's more dull, for sure. Way more dull. But how much? First scan, 1200. Second scan, 600. What does that tell us? That tells us that this pad is so... I 
uneven and so rough that uh, it's not very easy to be consistent because as you saw even even uh, if I did 15 seconds exactly 50 seconds per side and even if to the eye it seems the same all around uh, there is a difference like uh, one side was half of the other side one side was one scan was 1200, one scan was 600. Now they're both very low, but there is a difference between them that is not negligible. So maybe if we use these kinds of pads, uh, doing six sides is going to be better because it's going to cut from, for, uh, from more sides and maybe we won't see this difference. But because I did all these tests, with the other three M pads with four sides, I had to do this one with four sides as well. Now the other pads did not show such a big difference in the in the two scans. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to scan a, a different. different sides of the ball. This one is this one is also six hundred. Well, let's see up here. So probably closer to 600 than 1200. Maybe I missed a, a spot because when a pad is so rough, even the slightest, it seems that even the slightest difference in pressure uh, might uh, create a difference. So there you have it. Uh, not a very easy pad to use. Not uh, very consistent. Maybe if you can if you can apply exactly the same pressure, uh, it's a, it will be a little bit more consistent. Here it brought a 5,000 ball down to between 600 and 1,000 as an average, more closely to 600. But judging by this result, I wouldn't uh, be very certain that uh, this pad can. Uh, can uh, create a very consistent uh, grid all around the ball with the spinner. If you have watched the test that I did with uh, this pad again, but by hand, you will see that uh, the results there were very, very different. This pad could uh, offer two different kinds of uh, surface and two different numbers depending on the pressure. And now by, with the spinner, and an average pressure, it creates a completely different uh, um, surface on the ball. Its numbers by hand were much higher and the effect was very different between uh, using a high pressure and a low pressure by hand. If you want to know more, if you have more ideas about uh, tests with uh, these kinds of pads, you can drop me some ideas in the comments below and I will surely try them out. Uh, whenever I can and uh, if you want to support the channel please do so with the links uh, below and by liking subscribing and sharing the videos and see you on the next one bye